where we have more reliance on our internal rating than relying on external rating, and I think that has helped us tide over, you know, several credit issues. Mm -hmm. We also have a very strong team which focuses on trying to anticipate market movements mm -hmm. and position our portfolios accordingly. So we are not a buy and hold, a passive, you know, kind of investors. We believe that you need to be managing your portfolios a little bit more dynamically and actively. Because in India, and especially in the fixed-income markets, you have many mini cycles within the broader, right. you know, uh, cycle. So you try and capture a bit of you know, those uh, uh, moves and generate alpha, and that's I think what has helped us uh, generate the uh, performance. Sure. So we spoke about you know, the interest rate cycles, and you know, the, the broader sort of consensus that these these are getting compressed, you know, uh, generally from, from a context. So how's you know how are you trying to address that when you're looking at your you know your portfolio? Quite true. I think uh, the last decade has clearly been uh, a big uh, shift in terms of the way interest rate cycles are moved. Mm -hmm. They are becoming shorter because I think uh, the economies are also now more prone to swings or you know uh, those ups and downs, even what's happening in the rest of the world. So I think, uh, like I said, our strategy has always been to try and anticipate these moves, no matter how short or long they are, and then generally change our strategies accordingly. Uh, we think that while there is a broader trend uh, you know, towards lower rates, mm -hmm. towards a higher growth trajectory, but there will be a lot of uh, smaller mini cycles in between, and sure. those are the ones which we try and capture. So I think.